In the year 2000, the world faced one of the most damaging cyber attacks in history. And it all began with three simple words, I love you. People around the world received an email titled, I love you. Inside was an attachment that looked like a harmless text file. But it wasn't harmless. It was a virus, hidden inside a script. Once opened, it spread like wildfire. The virus copied itself, stole passwords, sent itself to everyone in the victim's email contacts, and overwrote files with new ones simply labeled, Love Letter For You. Within hours, millions of computers were infected, from Asia to Europe to North America. Government agencies shut down email systems, corporations went offline, and global communications spiraled into chaos. This wasn't a small attack. It became one of the fastest spreading viruses ever, costing an estimated $10 billion in damage. The world wanted answers. Who created it and why? Investigators traced the virus back to the Philippines to a programming student named Onel de Guzman. He was accused of designing the virus as part of a thesis proposal, something he originally claimed was meant to steal passwords because many people in his country couldn't afford internet access. Whether intentional or accidental, his creation became one of the most destructive cyber attacks in history. But here's the twist. At the time, the Philippines didn't have laws against writing malware. So even after global outrage and a worldwide hunt, no one was ever officially punished. The I Love You virus changed the world. It forced countries to create cybercrime laws and reminded us that sometimes the most dangerous threats don't explode. They arrive quietly in your inbox, signed with the words, I love you.